I'm LaFara and this is Kayla. We're members of the Roar of the Jaguars. We're here in the Jaguars locker room with some students. We have Sarah, Eleanor, Kobe, and Earl. These students would like to know about the myths and facts of teens and sex. So Eleanor, what are some myths that you have heard about teen pregnancy? Well, I heard that girls can't get pregnant when they're on their period. And what do you all think about that? Um, I think that's a myth that you only can get pregnant on your period. I think it's a myth also. I do too. I also think it's a myth. So Sarah, what other myths have you heard? Um, I've heard that you can't get pregnant the first time you had sex. I think it's a myth because sometimes you can't get pregnant on your first time of having sex. I think that any time you have sex, it's possible. Earl, are there any myths or facts that you would like to share with us? Well, I heard if you double condoms that um, it will prevent you from getting pregnant. I think that's a myth. Um, I think that's a myth. It's as much as just using one. Okay, well let's throw it back to the studio and see what they think. All right, and these are some of the ideas and concepts that the teens today are conversing about amongst each other. Uh, we just want to know and need to know the facts and telling us, are these myths actually true? Everything that was said was a myth. Um, it's very important for you guys to realize you never ever use two condoms. Don't double condom. And the reason for that is not because it's just as effective as one, it's because if you use two condoms together, they can actually rub together and tear and cause holes in the condom and therefore they are not effective at all. As far as girls getting pregnant, Girls can get pregnant any time during their menstrual cycle. They can, get, they can get pregnant before they've ever had a period. They can get pregnant while they're on their period. They can get pregnant any time during their menstrual cycle and even the first time that they've ever had sex. The reason for that is because girls ovulate at variable rates and variable times. They might ovulate one day, 14 days, five days before they actually have a period. So there's really no way to predict when you are gonna get pregnant. You can get pregnant any time at all during your menstrual cycle. All right, so those myths were busted. How do you know if you're pregnant? Well, that's a really good question. There's a good chance that you won't know that you're pregnant. The signs of pregnancy are often much later than what you might think. For example, we heard earlier from Mallory about getting morning sickness. Well, that doesn't happen until a few weeks after you're already pregnant. And even some girls will continue to go on and get their periods regularly, even if they are pregnant. If you ever have an instance where you come into sexual contact with somebody and you don't use protection and you think you might be pregnant, then you need to see a doctor or a healthcare professional and get tested because every time you have unprotected sex, you are at risk of getting pregnant. I heard that you gain weight if you're on the pill. Is that true? You know, that is absolutely not true. Girls will gain weight whether they're on the birth control pill or not. The birth control pills now are very low dose and they really don't have an impact on weight at all. I'm hearing about the word contraception. What does that mean? Contraception is a word that's probably a little bit more formal. It actually is the same thing as birth control. And so contraception equals birth control. Birth control means preventing pregnancy. Now a lot of us think about birth control in terms of not only preventing pregnancy, but preventing sexually transmitted infections. And when we think about these methods, we kind of put them into two different categories. We put them into hormonal methods and non-hormonal me hormonal methods. The hormonal methods basically are what we typically think of as the birth control pill, the birth control shot, and many of you may not realize there are a lot of other options out there now. Girls can get a little implant into their arm that prevents them from getting pregnant for up to three years. You can get an intrauterine device, which is an IUD. You can use a patch that you put on your body somewhere. There's a vaginal ring that can be used. And then on the other hand, you can also use condoms. Now condoms are 100% effective if they are used correctly and if they do not break. The problem is, as we heard earlier from Mallory, sometimes condoms break. And when condoms do break, if you're using a hormonal method of contraception, 
then you've got a backup method. So you've got something backing up your method of birth control so that you won't get pregnant. Of course, the only 100% way to prevent pregnancy is abstinence and not having sex in the first place. Even if they are on the birth control pill um, to, pre to prevent pregnancy, would you still um, encourage people to wear condoms? Absolutely, because birth control pills do not prevent sexually transmitted infections from occurring. So it's always important to use condoms as well as the birth control pill. And since you brought that up, I do want to mention, we heard earlier from Mallory that she was taking birth control pills. It's really, really important. This is not a method that you take just when you have sex or just at certain times of the month. If you don't take it every day and you miss a pill or you miss a couple of pills, then you might as well not be on it because they're not going to be working the way that they need to be working.